Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDAC Engineering and I've got a quick tech tip for you guys here. I have this uh, dome shape here that I have to put uh, some holes into. They're all half inch holes, I'm just going to drop an end mill down where they belong. And I've already done some tool paths before that, I'm just going to put the holes in. Now a lot of people may not realize this in some of the newer versions of Mastercam, like Mastercam 2020 and 2021. There's no more drill 5-axis or drill multi-axis toolpath in here. They're all combined under the regular drilling operation. So I'm going to go to drill, just regular 2D drill. And if you read the dialog box, something I'm guilty of not doing, if I control click, I can match all the holes that are the same radius in my solid here. So I'm actually going to come here and I'm going to pick that. And it found uh, my holes here and I can change the order of them, reverse them, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to come in here and hit my arrows. I want all the arrows pointing out. Some of them are, some of them aren't. I just want to make sure I get them all pointing outwards because your arrow points towards your axis, points towards your spindle. So if you have some pointing out and some pointing in, your toolpath is going to look pretty strange. I'm guilty of doing that also. Now, one thing I do want to point out here is there's no need to make whole axes anymore on a solid model either because it can see the axis from the model. So we get all these points here. They all look like they're pointing the correct way. We're good. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm just going to pick a tool. And under my tool axis control here, I'm just going to set my value here to be 5 axis. And I'll set my depth to be 188 is plenty. And I'll give it a retract clearance distance also. And we will now take a look at our part. Now you may notice something here too that they're kind of in a strange order. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I wrap it through the part to get over there. I can see that right off the bat. I most definitely would have seen that in my verify because it's a rapid move. So what's going on? Well I could manually select the holes in the order in which I wish to cut them. I could manually go in and re-edit them, but instead I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to sorting, which is just go to your geometry and we go to sorting, and I'm going to sort a counterclockwise pattern, and the first hole I'm going to pick is going to be this one. So it's going to re-sort my holes. So they're going kind of in a rotary pattern now. No, oh, I missed one of the holes. You can actually see that. And I was talking about changing the arrows. That hole right there, you can see the arrow must have been pointing the wrong way. So let's just go in here. And I'll click that. Easy fix. And let's uh, backplot that again. All right, and let's uh, verify our part and make sure it's good here. So I'm just going to go to verify, select all my operations, go to verify. And I did an opti rough on the outside. Did a five axis parallel to finish the uh, dome shape. And I'll just fast forward through that.
And let's just see what my drilling looks like. I'll just hit play and it's going to go real fast. And we'll just make sure we don't have any rapid moves going for the part. There you go. Now, that's it. So that's a five axis drilling inside of a regular 2D toolpath. And that's taking the place of the curve, sorry, the drill five axis toolpath that used to be under the multi axis. All right, everybody, thanks and have a great day.